next song we're going to look at here is um, In Memory of Elizabeth Reed. And um, we'll take a look at the chords first. So the first chord, you're going to hold like this. They're all kind of in a row here. Like that. So that's the first chord. And then you go down here and you're going to play what would be an A minor 7. So you can just play these, this triad, these three notes. So again, the first one is like this. I'm starting here at the 7th fret. 7, 8, 9, 10, all on different strings. Then you play that triad right there on the 5th fret. What you can do if you're um, if someone else is playing that rhythm, you can work on those swells that Dickie Betts does. He he's picking the note and he's going to use his pinky for the volume knob. It's a little harder to do on an ES335 than a Les Paul because of the position of the knob. It's a little further away, but you can still kind of pull it off on the top two strings. So as this is going. experiment with pre-bending a note and the scale that he's playing is uh, an A Dorian scale it's like an A minor type of A, it's like A minor pentatonic with some extra notes So you can get kind of like a whale sounds. You do a pre-bend, pre-bend, volume off, hit the note and then turn volume up. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with that beginning part, mess around with some, some notes there over these chords. Then you bend this note. Seven sharp nine, or just hit this E note. part is really cool and a little difficult to play to get it in your fingers. It starts off here. I'm on the uh, A note. Then he slides up to the 11th note. Try it again, maybe play it. Slowing it down sometimes is a little hard. 
So that's that part. And then, um, you know, of course it's, it's harmonized. I'm, I'm playing uh, one of the parts, but there's also a harmony part that's a little weird. This is the main, I would say, the main melody part. Then you can play it like this. There's two ways to play this next part, at least that I play it. This is a little weird with your pinky, so if you don't like this way, I'll show you the other way. Is up here, you could go play this. Remember the, remember the beginning chord? You can start in that position to go just walk down the chord, arpeggio. Try it again. You can slide it up two frets uh, one, two, three, three frets. that part and then it just goes um, that little spacey space time free time part goes that that rundown goes then you hit the e7 sharp 9 What you're gonna do for the for this rhythm part? Let me turn it down a little bit. You're gonna go like this because it, it, the the timing speeds up a little bit. You can still do the same kind of chords. You can go, but I guess it's a little bit different. So bear with me. Here we go. Thing to remember when you're playing this with the, in a band situation is not to overplay uh, your part here. It's more the the percussion um, percussive side of the rhythm that you want to focus on. Um, you don't have to go down to this A minor seven. You can stick to the uh, the B minor seven um, triad here. it for that uh, for a lot of different parts there in Elizabeth Reed I just wanted to get you started on that if you have any questions or other things that I could have maybe explained a little more clearly or you want me to break down uh, leave a comment and I will uh, try to address that and get back to it okay rock on see ya